all right good morning my people i think we are live today is uh, today is june the 5th of 2021 <laughs> you can see i don't have any more confidence in saying that <laughs> today is june the 5th 2021 and uh welcome thank you for joining us we are happy to have you and to our uh, followers we cannot thank you enough for showing up every weekend no matter what so we love you that much um my name is mona chun saga and i'm here in houston texas i will have my sisters introduce themselves sisters good morning viewers thank you for being here we are going to continue our discussion and we're going to show you the reasons why the 1999 Constitution is not just a waste paper, but it should be dumped in a waste paper basket, but should be trashed. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being here. My name is uh, Dr. Augusta Anosike. Thank you, our viewers, for you know being um, you know part of what we're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our viewers. We appreciate you. We cannot do this. Uh, we, we can't do anything without you. You're sharing, and the message is going around. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Dr. Ekwi Simon Okube, Lexington, Kentucky. Before we proceed, I want to give us food for thought. Do you know you have gifts and talents given to you by your creator, your maker? It is your responsibility to settle down, find them, work on them, and make them to become skillful like becomes skills, useful skills that we can use to serve humanity. Do not use them to dupe others. Do not use them to cheat or to dominate others because that will be abuse of talent. Every talent and gift used properly will benefit humanity. And you know what? You will be rewarded for it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sis. That we will be rewarded for our good work. Even the Bible acknowledges that. So all we have to do is to remain consistent. We must remain consistent in everything that we do. Uh, growing up back home, we, we have not seen anything that is consistent in our life. But it's up to us to make that change. So I stand for consistency. Our topic today is the greatest honor is to serve the people. The greatest honor is to serve the people. And we cannot emphasize this enough. Also, we'll be looking at the uh, conclusion of the 68 uh, item list that we started last week. So as our intro goes, long time ago in the pre-colonial era, our life was simple, simple and uncomplicated. We did not fight nor tear each other down, nope. Rather, we served each other with our skills and gifts. We sought for excellence in all that we did and we celebrated each other's achievements. We had dignity, honor in every genuine level that served humanity. It did not matter what we did. If you served humanity you were, and you were good at it, we celebrate you. We answered name and title from what we did best. A lot of us have heard the greatest culture, the Igbo, the Igbo culture. We hate to emphasize that alone because that's, that's what we know. So we are here to talk about what we know. We had names like DG, Master uh, of Young Farmer, D.O.G. My, D D O G right? Did I say it right? Yes, <laughs> right. D O G yes, yes. D O G master of uh, palm wine tapper. D uh, master of wrestling. D K master of power and strength. And D B A master of medicine. We knew joy at this point in time in our pre-colonial era. We knew joy. We knew happiness. We were fulfilled. Everyone had a special name because everyone has something special about him or herself, which is true. We all have talents. We did not have much, but we were happy. Life was simple and very much enjoyable. So today, the more we acquire, the more we fight. Those who impose their culture into our land, they brought greed, they brought envy, but we can change it today, you and I, as we speak. The Westerners that we emulate, they are enjoying everything that we abandoned. They are now using charcoal. I don't know if a lot of you have seen the charcoal toothpaste. A little bit, 2.8 and 7.99. Very expensive. Very, Very expensive. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, but we abandoned it because, you know, if you use charcoal, you're an African monk. Yes. So they are now using charcoal in toothpaste. They are using bitter leaf in, uh, uh, in curing diabetes. Somehow. Yeah, diabetic. There you go. Even black soap. 
Don't go there. Okay. <laughs> Do not go there. Do you know, sisters? Do you know the latest one they are doing now? Mm -mm. They are eating bugs called cecadia. Bugs. How do they make cake? They make cake with it. They make different dishes. It's hard. Go, everybody, search it online. It's trending as I'm speaking to you right now. They are eating these bugs. It's everywhere here in America. I haven't seen it. Maybe I've seen. It. I won't recognize. But if you guys recall, we eat um aku, 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 my dear. And everybody abandoned it. They mm -hmm. said it's high yeah. in protein. Yeah. This is what they're saying about this together. It's high in protein. It helps with allergy. It helps with all kinds of stuff. So when we say that our land is a land of milk and honey, a land that is so highly blessed and favored. This is Amuna. Yes. Do you know they put bugs, even coffee? They have, uh, they said that they grind some small, small, small bugs in the coffee that they take all the time. My sister. My dear, they were eating yeah. taco with the bugs, taco. They would fry, fry the, the bugs and put it in taco and put sauce in it. Eat it and boy was like, mmm. That's it. Where would this you in Africa eat burger and go, mm, let's see if they eat hamburger? My dear. We are going back. We are, we going, are going back. back. We are going back. So we say, let us go back to the land of our birth, the land where our placentas we are buried. The call that we are calling you today is for you to stand up for service and be counted in serving humanity in our area. So today we'll continue the review of the NINAS, the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. We are going to be, you know, looking at their strategy questions and answer session. So it's a good time to call. You know, we are leaving as we're going through the list, we are allowing people to call in. We'll pause and answer your question. But please make it a meaningful uh, question. Don't tell us that you've been watching us for two years and you don't know what we're talking about. Please, that's, don't, don't say it on air. Like, call us after the show and tell us that part. You know, and then we'll maybe be a little more uh, kind in, in addressing that. But it, is, it breaks our hearts to hear that someone that has been watching us for, for months now doesn't know what we're talking about. So maybe we need to have one-on-one -on -one session with that, uh, this group of people. So we'll continue to look at the highlights uh, of the uh, video of the 68 item list. Uh, but before we start, we have a video. Uh, we're also going to be talking about what happened to the 2014 CONFAB. We all know about the 2014 CONFAB and how it ended. We didn't get anywhere. So we'll uh, play a video just to get started today, uh, just to show you guys the progress that have been made again. Because obviously, you know, people are watching this. I don't know if we are speaking uh, Spanish or the English is too much. I don't know what we can do to bring it down to the level so that we can see the progress. That Because if you see these things, you should not be sending your children to be killed. You should not be celebrating people that are bringing uh, 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 debt and uh, and on uh, getting uh, had that boy well, disarray in our land. We will not be celebrating that because we have a better alternative. The only reason why anybody will celebrate that is if you don't know what 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 we've been doing all along. Please, my people, we cannot continue to watch while this army come to our land and take our children and kill them. I was fortunate enough to speak to someone who lost two of his cousins. Uh, uh, sons according to the story the children were in front of their house in obo in the village they saw the armies in the hillers and they started running the army actually followed them and pick up the two brothers and now they are both dead two brothers from the same mother this is aligned to somalia and then when the killing is enough u.n will come and stop it really my people really so we're going to play this video for one of the congressmen just to emphasize what some of us um, maybe you, you missed out on uh, at some point in time. Dominant driver of conflict in the Middle Belt region is committed by Fulani extremists who appear driven in large part by ethno-religious chauvinism against mostly Christian farmers. Though I do not, though I do note that there are elsewhere Shia Muslims who are also victims, and that intra-Sunni uh, conflicts also exist within the Muslim community as well. Nigerian Bishop William Avenya will testify today that, and I quote in part, 
the mass slaughter of Christians in Nigeria's Middle Belt. The video is not showing, sister. Meets the criteria. The video is not. Oh, my dear. I, I, oh, genocide. Lord, I did it the wrong way. Okay. Yes. That's why it's not showing. I have to click share first. Okay. Sorry about that. Thank you, Sister Augusta. Share. I guess I thought I was in the uh, ABC studio that you press one button, things will start flowing. <laughs> okay. Oh, now the video can't play. Let's see. largest dominant driver of conflict in the Middle Belt region is committed by Fulani extremists who appear driven in large part by ethno-religious chauvinism against mostly Christian farmers, though I do not do I do note that there are elsewhere Shia Muslims who are also victims and that intra-Sunni conflicts also exist within the Muslim community as well. Nigerian Bishop William Avenya will testify today that, and I quote in part, the mass slaughter of Christians in Nigeria's Middle Belt by every standard meets the criteria for a calculated genocide from the definition of the Genocide Convention. And then he notes, and I quote him again, no one has ever been arrested or questioned or prosecuted or convicted of any charge related to this spree of killings which has been going on for at least five years. Hmm. In its November 18th, 2020 report to the International Criminal Court, the Jubilee campaign writes, and I quote in pertinent part, violence that has taken place in Nigeria's middle belt is spiraling out of control, costing the lives of thousands of civilians and destabilizing the country and region. The violence is often characterized as a, quote, intercommunal conflict between herders and farmers over natural resources. However, the well-worn label is now obsolete due to the increasing asymmetry in attacks, as well as the steadily increasing frequency and organizational planning of Fulani militant attacks against civilian targets. It's worth noting that what separates this situation from that of Boko Haram and the Islamic State West Africa is the fact that the Nigerian government under President Buhari is dominated by the Fulani. This is true of the military and the state security forces, but increasingly other institutions of power as well, including the Supreme Court of Nigeria, where Buhari engineered the ouster of Chief Justice Walter Onengen. We now have, we have also seen the sidelining of members of the Fulani community who have demonstrated a commitment to peace. All right. So that is that video, sisters. Let's go ahead. Yes, thank you, Mr. Muna. You can, you can hear, can, am I coming out, please? Yes. Right. You see how detailed this report is? Is there any other thing that somebody's listening to, like, like you didn't hear? It's on our wall. Please go and pay attention. Every bit of it is so fully loaded. Does this sound like someone that does not know what is going on in Nigeria? Does this man sound like a if? He needs somebody to go and kill all his children and all her children for UN to hear, for US to hear. These people are more informed than even our politicians. <laughs> they are better informed that our, than the so-called people that are representing us. Mm -hmm. They have dates. They have, they have accurate information. Some are saying it's Biafra. They are telling you it is not just in your land. Middle belts, they're telling you everywhere that something is happening because they have their satellite mounted. That's why when what happened at Lekki happened, it was their camera. When our enemies, the politicians, closed down the cameras, shut down the cameras, their own footage was there. Their satellite picked everything. That's how the truth came out. So you don't need to die. 
You don't need to allow your people to die for you and to come. This is a madman that wants to kill all, all our people and destroy everything in our land. That is not a strategy. Like Sister Mona said, you are just like Hamas, throwing stone at Israel that, is, that has a lot of <laughs> ammunition. It's embarrassing. Somebody was explaining this situation. He said it's like when somebody is looking like your land, some people came and took your land. Now, they went and used the title deed and used TPEX on it. Block the name. Your name is there, but they used TPEX on it. But when you turn the back of the title deed, you will see your name. Because anybody that uses TPEX knows that if you put TPEX on something behind the paper, you will see what was TPEX. Your name can show at the back of the title deed. But what did you do? Rather than go to court and go and judge your case like this is what is going on report what is going on then get a powerful lawyer that knows what he's doing to go and speak for you so that because first of all they will ask you what is the map of the the land you're talking about where is the land located when you get to court they will say where is the land located show us the map they will show you the area because you need to mark out the territory you're discussing the the territory in dispute Anazani, Ndibu, that are listening to me, who them? This whole thing happening, the Keba Anazani. That means you are dragging land. So, what you need to do first is to go to court and get a powerful lawyer. But what did my people do? They tie wrapper, squeeze it by the corner, and carry long chewing stick. And they are chewing it. Tap, 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 tap. Carry all their sons. Oh, yeah, let's go. Meanwhile, the people that took your land are standing on the land with AK-47. All type of ammunition standing there waiting to kill you. You too, you're going empty-handed. Chewing stick, chewing stick in the morning. Two, two, two. Papa, let's go. Uh, Papa, let's go. You're going to the land to go and hug people that have AK-47 empty-handed. With the rapper that you tied on your waist. Does it make sense in 2021? Can you people stop ridiculing the great Igbo race? The world is watching us. They are saying, I thought these people were sensible. Are these the people that are our people we are even foreign about? Stop this Christmas, please. Please. Is that somebody calling, Sister Mona? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. Their, their line is still trying to connect. Go ahead. With us. Oh, okay. Please. And that's why last week we told you, stop drinking or abusing anything that will affect your brain. Because the way we looked at this thing as doctors of truth, we looked at it critically. We said, if our people really are sensible, we would have been free 50 years ago. Whatever that is making us not to reason well, we have to check it. Because this thing does not make sense. There are protocol. There are ways things are done. Protocol that you need to follow. Strategy. And that is 2007 UN declaration on the indigenous people's rights. It's been settled. And you have to follow the protocol. If you allow yourself to be killed, allow all your family members to be killed, so that you and we see all the dead bodies mm. have to cry with you. Ha. Your, 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 your stupidity, they worry me. Ah, I don't know what to tell you anymore. Cry with you. Are they connected? No, the line is not good. So, call I keep trying, please. It's not working. Yeah, so, it's, it's, we, yeah, go ahead. We told our people that this strategy is on the table, Nina's strategy. And we told you, don't go alone. If you go alone as a region, they will wipe you. But if we come together in an ally, alliance, and this type of alliance we are talking about is not the one you declare over the radio. That is not alliance. It's the one you sit down, plan, sign documents. And Ninas have done that. Because that's why we had solemn assemblies. 2015, we had solemn assembly that we brought up all the people in Lower Niger area, that whole territory. They came and agreed, we want to do this together. 2017, Yorubas did their own solemn assembly. 
and came together and said, yes, let's go. 2018, Middle Belt did their own, say, yes, let's go. It has been formed and we are moving. Now, the, you needed to bring the stakeholders, the international stakeholders. That's the video you just saw. They have the details. They have the proposal. They have all this. In. They're already aware. Anybody that is crying over the radio, shouting over the radio, telling you that you need to cry and die, you need to hug Nigeria police or Nigeria military, you need to cut their heads for freedom to come. Tell that person that Doctors of Truth said he's a liar, he's a criminal, and what happens to criminals will happen to him and all the people duping our people because this will not go unpunished. Take it from me. We say this will not go unpunished. Yep. We say not. What is going on? It will not go unpunished. So the earlier you start turning around from that evil way and start repudi repudiating that criminal, you know the criminal I'm talking about. I don't mm -hmm. even know his name before mm -hmm. you know. Mm -mm. Not, not needed. Come openly. You must come openly and repudiate him because what has happened is that each time he makes videos, he makes videos in your name. And in the bias in all to if you keep quiet and do not repudiate what the person is saying in your name, they will think that you're all in collaboration, that you are doing it together. Mm -hmm. Especially when somebody like, uh, like uh, one professor that calls himself is uh, what the book congress, whatever, what that they sponsored it, they put it. The, the, the people, our partners have the videos at the international level, they have the videos that are seeing all these things. So they are assuming that you are the one sponsoring this terrorism. This is terrorism, not like Hamas. <laughs> so the world will think that you are the one sponsoring it. So if you keep quiet, they will know that you, they will assume that you yes, yes, you agreed. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's almost like that criminal. And whatever that is happening to you is repressor attack. Because when you go and kill police, police, kill military, kill all the things, you should bring the head of uh, the Buhari, whether he's dead or alive, he wants his head. When you do that, there will be repressor attacks. So the international community will look at what is happening as repressor attacks. Not the open. Like what Israel did to Hamas. But if you can come out and say, no, please, we are not part of the people asking for the heads of police and heads of all these things. No, we want to follow a legal means. Whatever UN, 2013 was when LNC and Nina went to UN. So what they are doing, UN is already aware of what they are doing and they are aware of this protocol. So why are you inviting somebody to come and know what he's already aware of? Listen to the video again. Go and watch it again, and you see the details. The details they have, you don't really have it. And uh, America, for instance, cannot go and, supp and support Biafra, support Odudua, support this one. No. They would rather work with a collective body. And that's why they're working with Ninas. Let me leave. Somebody's on the call. No, no, it's not working. They're not connecting. Okay, yeah. go ahead, sisters. Yeah, I don't. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, sister. Yeah, thanks, sister. Thank you for that. And for those that are still saying that Buari is dead, they are measuring the nose of Buari, the ear of Buari, the armpit of Buari. <laughs> and this colossal, um, I would, but it's not even called the genocide because the killings are the beginning to affect. It is genocide. Even those that are not part of the, the franchise, it's beginning to affect everybody. So if one that is dead and we can't figure out his nose and his mouth and his armpits, and people are being killed, you can imagine when one is alive, how many more people will get killed? So our people, please stop listening to these buffoons. They are trying to create war where there is not necessary. What is not necessary at this moment? The Nina's pathway is a strategy. It's a, it's a, 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 a blueprint that we've been working with for a while. There is no point to get yourself killed. No point. A man that is saying, by the time we, are, my people get killed, by the time we all get killed, we will win. And when we win, I will come and lead you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, <that laughs> he's in a uh, London apartment, frolicking with God knows what. But 
He's telling you to go out there and get killed. He's telling you to kill police officers. And I'm wondering, why haven't you picked up his sister? That is a policewoman. What are you guys waiting for? Start from, charity begins at home. Start with that policewoman that has been pointing the houses of our people that are getting killed. Please, our people, wake up, wake up. We don't have time for all these shenanigans anymore. I know. I want to inform Nigerian states, you cannot continue to kill our young ones. You just can't. If you're looking for people doing whatever they are doing, setting up whatever they are saying, look for them. You cannot be chasing children into their bedroom and into their mother's canteen and picking them up and killing them. That does not make sense. But remember that this the Nigerian government have been looking for that opportunity. And somebody is serving it to them on a platter of gold. On a on is serving this opportunity to them. These people have been looking for an opportunity to decimate the eastern region. Because come rain, come shine. They believe it's the easterners that are propelling this thing. Not knowing that the entire uh, 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 alliance territory is tired of their nonsense. Of their nonsense. Uh, which is why we told our people, don't stick your head first. Because if you put your head first, Iburi, you'll be blamed for it. Hold on and work with others. At the same level, we agree. The Yorubans on board, Middle Belt on board, everybody on board, then we march. We move together. If you single yourself out, they will kill you and kill your children. Like my sister said, they have been looking for opportunity. Even when you cough, they kill you. Have they not been killing you since? So why give them another opportunity to come to your land? Why? And we have said this for over two years on this platform. And the so-called security that you guys claim to have is nowhere to be found. If it's actually functional, why are they still in our land clean everybody? Exactly. Why are they this so this thing you guys are clapping for, thinking it's all that? If it's working, why are people flying? I said yesterday, you know what? They said the airport was so jam-packed, people were trying to leave the eastern region. People flying to Abuja, Lagos, this, this. But they knew we were warning you guys. These people that are shouting, one people, random people on the radio shouting random things should not, you, you guys should not use that as strategy in 2021. No. Hmm? So everybody now that uh, the killing has started, people that do have money are buying for plastic aid to leave East. I mean, if you see the airport this week, my sisters, you will begin to think there's another uh, uh, tsunami going on somewhere. There is tsunami going on, my sister. Tsunami. It is tsunami. Killing it's our tsunami. boys, it's tsunami already. It's tsunami. It's serious tsunami. Who are, who, are, who are the boys that will defend us eventually when push, a push comes to show? It's tsunami already. Hey. It is tsunami. And we warned about tsunami, this tsunami. We, we warned. warned. We warned. We, we cried. warned. Go and look at our videos. We, we cried. warned. We cried. I we cried. are here. We cried. We warned. We warned you, Nibu. Leaders of Igbo land, we warned you. You allow this to happen. They your, allow deception, your deception allowed this to happen. Mm. You saw it coming, but you were playing games, playing games. politics with the lives of our people, and mm. now women are crying up and they're making videos void. When you were contributing money in America, what were you thinking? Oh. What were you thinking? The ammunition that you say you want to buy, how will you take it into the land? Your oh, contributing please, money please, to, land to, be using to, to, to do what you want to do with women. <laughs> Sister, who is buying ammunition? Who will you give them? You need to set up another Iman on the carry up. He changes um, women like rappers. Exactly. Ammunition. He's yeah. not like tomato. That's you know the tomato that you buy on the table. Eh? People will not just walk in and they will sell you ammunition. We warned you. You know you were not ready. All you had is to be stick. You are going to the land in, in, in this boot. And you're going there, going with all your sons, empty handed. Now they wipe all of you, kill all of you, you start crying. Meaning what? Why are you doing this? Hey, how do you go? When there's a strategy on the table that has been working, people are buying into it. People are coming into it. See Yorubas that are using it. See what the Yorubas are doing. They, this is the strategy. The Yorubas, are, they, they did their rally in Ekiti today. It was powerful. It was powerful. They had a lot, the uh, policemen joined in the rally. And that's what we're saying. The one is stand for mobilization. We are going to do this effectively. You don't need to shout and push our people to their no. death. 
No, no. My dear, we must continue. CC8 item exclusive legislative list. So we stopped at 49. The 50th uh, item is public debt of the Federation. <laughs> That one is uh, on endless, like it will, it's infinity. It will come even after God, it will go past God with all the money they are taking. Public holidays, we know how that works already. Public relations of the federation. With the public debt, they are still borrowing. Yep. They are, still, they are borrowing to the one millionth generation of our people. Yeah. And we have told them that the constitutional first matter has taken effect. If you borrow Nigeria money, that is to your own detriment. Mm -hmm. We have said it. So those countries like China that wants to recolonize Africa, yeah, stop borrowing people money, because stop borrowing Buhari and his cohorts money. Money to go and build a nation called yeah. Niger. They are building their Niger nation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because they yeah. know that their days are numbered. So they are getting that place ready for, for transfer. Even and recently, recently I heard that they want to change Nigerian's name and uh, make it okay. United Republic of Guinea. Okay. We have a caller. Caller your oh. name and where you're calling from. Hello, caller. Hello? Hello? Okay, caller, your line is not working. We, we have to go. All right. Go ahead, sisters. Hello, sisters. Yes, I hear some. Is, yes, like the money, they, what Nigerians do not understand. Is that the money they are borrowing? They are not borrowing it for you. They are not borrowing to build Nigeria. Oh, I'm about to tell you guys, this week we found out that the uh, NNPC has uh, sixty billion dollars somewhere in Texas Bank. Hmm. Sixty billion dollars cash. B. Yes, B. 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 They mentioned the name of the bank. I don't know how I forgot. But yeah. this is what we keep telling you guys, you know. So here we are struggling. We don't have jobs. We don't have roads. We don't have hospital. And NMPC, with their Western, you know, we call them the external colonizer, yes. allow them to store $60 billion. And in a billion Texas bank. In a Texas we, bank. We, and this the is only a Texas, Texas bank. Oh, we don't know the <laughs> one that uh, they left in Utah bank because uh, Dino was recently in Utah. Because, you know, they, when they leave, they, they go with a, with a flight load of money. Yes. We don't know the one that is in Wisconsin. We don't know the one that is in Maryland, Washington, D.C., that our people like to go to all the time. So this is this is the one in Texas Bank, your $60 billion. And you know, when they fly with, in the, uh, with uh, diplomatic passports, they are not checked like you and I at the airport. And that's why they have private um, jets and all that. They bring in all these things. And we are telling our people, it is about strategy. Nina's strategy. We have done we are number 15. One to go. We are not scratching head now on what to do. Now wow. The plan is 20 years plan, 21st. And things have been happening. And that's why you're seeing them running around. That's why they're under pressure. That's why they're bringing down Twitter in Nigeria. That's why they're climbing down on things. Whether Buhari is life or death, their strategy is working. They have plan. It's a multi-dimensional plan that they have been using. So it's not something that they need Buhari to be alive or dead. <laughs> he doesn't mean anything. Alive or dead, massacred, whether it's clinically dead, whether it's just his brain that died and his body is moving, it does not matter. Anybody that is telling you that what they want to use is the strategy of where yeah. Buhari is dead. Yeah. Okay, we have a caller. Caller, your name and where you're calling from. Good evening. My name is Michael. Good evening, Michael. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, Michael. Go ahead, Michael. Okay. Um, I've been listening to you following your podcast today. I want to ask uh, some questions go ahead michael go ahead go ahead we have other callers go ahead ask your questions okay what i want to ask is this uh, when you said something about uh, ipod how they are running their their group how 
they are doing their things. So I want to ask this question. When, because I believe that when I started, uh, I believe that. Uh, do, wow. do we even mention them? We said, Michael, brother Michael, we said those killing our people. We didn't even mention anybody's name. So he includes even God himself. If God is part of the those clean ourselves, he's also indicted. So I don't know why we are trying to narrow the topic to just uh, IPOP and when they started. No, no, no. Okay, okay, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. When IPOP, when IPOP started their, their campaign, when they started their campaign, are they violent or they, they started there peacefully, like protest? Oh, Michael, Michael. You know Michael. what we said, Michael. This is not IPOP platform. So don't come ask us questions okay. about IPOP, when they started or when they ended. What is on the table okay. is Nina's project, Nina's protocol. Can you please tell us if you have questions about those and we will answer you. For questions concerning IPOP, please meet the IPOP members. We were co uh, coordinators there and we left there because there's no plan for freedom. So we left there and we found people that are serious for the freedom of our people and we have been working for them for, ye with them for years now. So please take your question to that platform. Here, we will answer your platform question on the one we are working on. I don't know if you understand that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. So thank you, Michael, for being respectful. All right. So uh, we, we are talking about the public debt of the Federation. And since Augusta was mentioning how, you know, we talked about those bringing the countries borrowing the money. And we talk about the new nation that the Fulanis are building for themselves because we know they are actually from the Niger place, you know, nation with our resources. Yeah, Niger. Niger, Niger, my sister. And then the train station that they're building, the hospital, the police, the whatever. And we're telling you guys, the whole thing is, you know, coming to an end. If only yeah, you guys want to I'm going to add the gas pipeline. Ima, they want to draw gas from, uh, from the uh, lower Niger area. Yes, sir. <laughs> send, it, send it to Niger Republic. But uh -huh. I will not go to Niger and buy gas. The gas. Hmm. Okay, continue. Sorry. My dear, they will see now. They will see. Public relations of the Federation is number 52. Number 53 is public service of the Federation, including the settlement of disputes between the Federation and officers of such service. Hmm. Quarantine. They all need to be quarantined, all of them including the people that wrote this exclusive list and the people in charge of that federation. Railways. Yeah, the railway to Niger, right? Niger, my dear. The way the railway to Niger, you, are you guys, is the project completed or are they still working on it? You know, they are using, they know the country is no more. The federation is, it's not even a federation. Whatever sham that they put up is no more. So they are in a haste using money, 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 resources, 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 resources. And then NPC is non-functional anymore. They are using all the things, building whatever they need to build. That's why somebody can bury billion dollars in their backyard. By the time they even get to their so dumb, they don't know the humidity will destroy the money if you don't package it very well. They are hiding things everywhere. We are here bringing them to our land to kill us when we're supposed to be doing all that stuff. And then we look at number 56. It says regulation of... Sister Augusta, go ahead. I'll let you do this one so I can... Well, number 56, regulation of political parties. And we are telling you that the political parties should close shop. Because they are regulating the political parties. They are the one determining who you should vote for. It is in writing, no? Hey, you can see that. <laughs> it is it's in writing. <laughs> and one selecting your governors. Like in my own state now. Mm -hmm. They selected one guy, number four. It's here, Yana, number one. Mr. O, who's the Dimba? Who's Dimba? They put him at number four. Number one, when you win the number four position, I was the number one. And we're telling you that it is part of their exclusive uh, uh, items on the list. That yes. is so whether you, your name is APPCC, FFFE. Whatever it is, 2023, when it comes, they will regulate your behind. They will regulate your, your backyard, whatever. They will. Because guess what? They are interested in who will serve them. 
The, the agenda. agenda. Who mm -hmm. will play along with their agenda. And their agenda has not changed. Mm -mm. It has been one agenda all along to subject and subjugate and marginalize and take our land. That has been like number one objective from day one in 1960. Amadou Bello said it, that they would never allow the Southerners to rule themselves. <laughs> people had a plan from day one. So for our people, in Honano, regulation of political parties, so if you like the part of Afghan, gap whatever, whatever, they put in their studies. So we are no, as we are speaking right now, did you guys hear the professor that or some professor contacted for a book launching and he... He left the book launching and then he wants to kill all the evils. You know, See how, how angry. <laughs> My dear, so, this angry. Has only, how can you be stealing from me? You held me hostage. You didn't let me control my future. And then you want to kill me on top of that. It's unbelievable. He needs to listen hmm? to the anger coming out. And that's what we're telling our people. So far, you and them are in one country. They will continue to kill you. They will use the resources of that country to kill you Except remember he said it he said as long as we are nigerian as long as we are nigeria that that nigerians that that oil in Bayesa belongs to jigawa exactly. as long as we are and that's it once you that and that's what we're telling people that one nigeria I was saying someone last night said the one nigeria project is not the country you are thinking you are building mm -mm. Mm -mm. the one nigeria you are hearing these people mention belongs to somebody else Mm -hmm. And that one Nigeria, for them to build it, they will steal all your resources and kill all of you and then build it. It's located in Niger Republic. That is where that your one Nigeria is located. So they will move all of you to that place to go and serve them as slaves. You're already slaves, so, but it's not enough. They need to remove you. And INEC, INEC is the tool they are using and they have been using it since. since. So far, you're conducting election under INEC. And INEC is the one that is supervising it. That election is not for you. That election is for the colonizers, both mm -hmm. internal colonizers and external colonizers. Mm -hmm. So those of you that are in love with one Nigeria, can you stop being in love? Mm -hmm. Because actually, we are not even begging you people. We don't want mm -hmm. We are not begging you. Mm -hmm. We have reached where we are not begging anymore. Mm -hmm. We are working with strategies that work. As we speak, the strategy is going on. Yep. The only thing we are doing here is to inform you what we are doing so that you stop dying. That's all. Oh. That's why we come here Saturday. Oh. It's not that coming Saturday is where we are doing the strategy. No. The strategy is going all on our gut. Whether your brain is working or it's not working, we are not waiting. We are moving. We have left the park since. The only reason we come here is to tell you that there's alternative so that you and your children will not die. Only you will be here. Daughters of truth, you do not need to die. There is strategy on the table that does not involve you being killed. Your enemy will even run from you with this strategy. Yeah. But if you go and commit suicide and expect daughters of truth to come here and cry with you, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a young woman. No, we are, we are done crying. If Our trees are dry now. They, we've been crying for three years now, my dear. Which okay. we which we can't cry, you know. It just, you know, you shrug your shoulder now. Any worse news, you know, whether they picked up your seven sons. Yeah, and that's why people that are flying out of the eastern region, you think after they finish cleaning the young ones, they won't come for you. The young ones are the ones that will defend you. So once they wipe them out, they don't even have to chase you around because at least the other boys, they were able to run first. You know, all they have to do is to carry you from your struggling heap pain because you can't run anymore. They will no. just take you open ground because bullet, they don't know where to waste their bullet, put mm -hmm. you guys in the ground and cover you guys up. So mm -hmm. continue to watch why they kill our young ones. Don't come and join what is happening. Think, oh, it's not my, okay, I'll fly to America this week to go and see my children. Oh, some of them do have green cards. As I'm telling you, they are all at the airport. So continue to play that game and leave you a vacuum in your land for the enemies to take. Uh, uh, to 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 occupy while you're playing your games we cannot warn you guys enough we cannot say this enough we have been called names we have been this oh, just name it we have done it all because we wanted to make sure that this day these things that we're hearing did not come to fruition but what did my people do business as usual
they will it will enter to the, from this year and then it will go from the other year. You hang up the phone, they will say, Hey, we'll test them. Yeah, we'll be going to deck. I never been can you there. Wow, what's the point in the moment? If you have the so called security that you guys are contributing, contributing money for, why are they not defending the land? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. <clears throat> Number 57, service and execution in a state of the civil and criminal processes. Judgments, decrees, orders, and other decisions of any court of law outside Nigeria or any court of law in Nigeria other than a court of law established by the House of Assembly of that state. 58, stamp duties. 59, taxation of incomes, profits, and capital gains, except as otherwise prescribed by this constitution. Sister so Augusta, I wanted to point something out. You see how when they write stamp duties, right, or they write regulation of political parties, there's no further explanation. This <laughs> just signify they can do whatever they want to do under yes. this little sentence that they have made here. That's mm -hmm. it. That That's they can do it any kind of way. They can up it. They can bring a DBA man to be your your uh, Supreme Court leader. They can bring the fourth person on, on the uh, uh, election, uh, electoral uh, electoral uh, le uh, governor's election to be your governor. They can bring anyone. They can bring the man that is carrying Fulani Nama in the forest to come and become your commissioner, and there is nothing you can do about it. So this is even more dangerous. Yes. 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 And and they're putting judiciary in exclusive list. I thought we were supposed to have three arms of government so government. that you have balance and they'll yeah. be independent so that this one can balance this one. No, they will not put it under so that uh, Mwadibia can become whatever they need to be and they will pass judgment. Why do you have injustice in the land? There will never be justice. So you continue to cry and wail. Justice will never come because he has been mortgaged. They have tied it in this exclusive list. So far, 1999 Constitution is alive and breathing. You will never be free. They have, they have written it. They have tied it. That's why we tell our people, you must accept what has been done on your behalf. The Constitutional Force Major was done December 2020. Mm -hmm. For you. All you need to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been done. It's all, all they need to do is accept Ninas as, uh, as their lord of uh, self determination. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. No, no, it's analogy. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. I say, You don't need to die again. I yeah. have come that you might have life. <laughs> they don't die again, no. But you know, some pastors will tell you to go and commit suicide so that you will die. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life. And he died for you. Say, Just accept me. Then you'll be done. That's what has happened too. 16th December 2020. Ninas, the, the indigenous people, because when we are saying Ninas, we'll say who are Ninas? Who are Ninas? Nigerian indigenous nationalities. Alliance for self-determination. We please, please say that again, sister, because somebody mentioned last week that he never heard us use the word indigenous. Can you say it again? <laughs> Nigerian indigenous nationalities. Alliance. For self determination, we have over 200 nationalities, indigenous nationalities in Nigeria. We came together. Rather than this one going together, oh, you job, we go and they will kill you job. Urobo will go, they will kill you job. Urobo, Yoruba, we go, they kill you. We came together. We decided to form an alliance and bond ourselves. Say, we must get our self determination. So that is what is going on. And they will not take one person and kill. So far, you are in this alliance. They will not touch you. They will not kill you. But if you single yourself out because you want to become the emperor of <laughs> Europe, they will kill you and kill your people. And there's nothing we can do but to cry. And there's nothing U.S. will do. And there's nothing that the UN, UN, UN will do. There's nothing U.S. will do. Because they're already working with this proposal. This past week, there are so many people going to White House. Oh, I have connection in White House. Let me call them. When they get there, they say, eh, she has some people call Ninas and all that. They have been this and we have made decision already on what to do. Are you aware? Some of them will not be there. Our brother will not come inside and not lecture them. <laughs> what has been done in their land? And that's what we're telling you. Brain work. Stop running up and down and deceiving yourself. You're disgracing us. Please. You're disgracing us. This disgrace is too much because they're like, are these people sensible? Look at the video we played at the beginning of this show. A man that is that detailed, 
You will not go and meet him and say you're Biafra. You say what? He will say you. What? 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 What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> no, I've told you that you cannot use terrorism to cure terrorism. No diplomat will listen to you. Are you talking about me? Then remember when we were with the other group, we were writing letter Biafra. This we yes. even have this night. One day I should show that letter. Yes, this wonderful letter that we wrote, indigenous people of Ndewa. Uh -huh. My dear, nobody, the people that will respond to me before with all my requests because I give them money in, in, in terms of uh, politics. My dear, everybody pretended like they didn't get the letter. I didn't even get any reply. My dear, I got reply. They will say, We are looking into it. We are like a generic reply. You understand that kind of like gift on the volleyball. Tell them <laughs> that uh, <laughs> something is going on because once you mention that word, it shows that you don't know what is being planned. You're lost in the wilderness. You're lost. You do not know what decisions I have made because this is about interest. I tell people it's not because America loves you and want to help you. Oh, yeah. No, mm -mm. that issue have come and help us. No, who won't help you? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> it's about interest. Yeah, what are you bringing to the table? Bam. What are you bringing to the table? What are you offering us mm -hmm. so that we can work together as partners? Okay, now in this world. If you have terrorists on this group and you have educated people that are talking like science, who do you think America will listen to? Who do you think the world diplomats will listen to? Duh. Duh. Is it the one that is cutting police head and saying, I have chopped the man's head. I'm bringing it. They will video <laughs> it and send it. The diplomats will not have anything to do with you. They have all these videos. They do. They have your faces. Even the shouting on the radio, they have them. Some of that time, when our brother gets there, they throw the video because sometimes he will initially before he will try to say, please let's do something, but they will throw the video at him. We are incapacitated. There's nothing we can do. Your people are terrorists. They became terrorists. There's nothing we can do. But if you follow protocol, there are self-defense, even in what we are doing. There's self-defense. But why we can't activate it now is because of these terrorists in the land, because you won't know who is who. I know. We need. We are in a hurry to activate the self the, uh, the self defense, which is part of Nina's. We are in a hurry to activate it, but with you running up and down and deceiving yourself with terrorists, killing police and doing this nonsense, we are you are wasting our time, and you are delaying mm -hmm. it. Is there anybody on the call? No, yeah. my sister. No, I said all day. Go ahead. Okay, so that's the place. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about the, the last, uh, the number 59, where we talked about taxes and profit and all that that they are taking from our people. Now, I need our people to listen. In the northern region, they don't take alcohol. But in the southern region, people take alcohol. You know, of course, we condemn excessive alcohol. But, you know, our people thrive in, you know, partying and all that. So alcohol is being served. And the alcohol is in the, in the southern region is heavily taxed. You understand? And once this tax, they tax this alcohol, they now use the money, the profit from your tax and use it to develop their place. Now, when you now uh, take the alcohol to the northern region, they have Isba police. As we said, they have actually succeeded a long time ago by forming Sharia. So they had they have their own police, the Isba, the Sharia policemen. This Sharia policeman would come and destroy the alcohol that you are selling. You understand? So the taxes that they are making off of your alcohol, they are using it to they are using it to clean up their area. But once you bring the alcohol to their northern region, they would dis, they would you know dispose it, break it, waste it. You understand? So that's why we are telling you we are these people. I don't know. We don't match in any way. We are not conjoined twins. We don't match. We are not together in any way so we need our people to understand that the taxes that they are taxing even the port authority every part of what we own is being taxed to help their own area to continue to flourish so let's continue sister all right let me pull up the um the powerpoint we cannot emphasize this enough where here they can is someone that is highly informed. Well, nobody will trick you. Nobody will come and sell you uh, water. Or, or so if I saw this movie, we also we were selling water at some acidic distance that came from China. <laughs> and one idiot invested all his money. <laughs> 
So <laughs> nobody will come and sell you water for an acidic solution and you will buy all of them with all your money because you're the only, you will be the only, what do they call it? The only uh, person trading in that water. And this man bought millions of the water from, <laughs> I said, this is exactly what is happening to my people right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody is selling you water for the price of a diamond and you're and you're um going for it. All right, go ahead. Number 60, the establishment and regulation of authorities for oh, the we have a call. We have a call. Okay. Call, like, call like your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Yes. Good evening. My name is Ifaya Mechi. I'm calling from Imo State. Welcome, Ifani. Go ahead with your questions. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, brother. Can you speak up? If I, you have a lot of squeaking noise in your background, like you, as you're speaking, all I'm hearing is squeaking, squeaking noise. Can you uh, increase your volume for one thing? Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, okay. Is it better? Go ahead. Go ahead. You're fine. Uh -oh. No, you went down again. You went down. Okay, hold on. Okay. Go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. So, somebody sent me a video from my one of my friends sent me a video of what that happened in a boy recently, a boy state. Okay. We have uh Fulani we have Fulani I can send the video to you if you if you want. We have Fulani Esmen Kate and killed many of our young men, both women, children. Recently, I'm talking about what happened recently. Mm -hmm. So, now my question is, is as, as we are planning, um, as we are working hard, as we are working hard, Nigeria Indigenous uh, Nationality Alliance are working hard to make sure that we are free. What are we going to do to stop these people, these killer henchmen, from killing us? Because they are killing us. I'm not. I'm not even talking about the soldiers and the the unknown and whatever. For these Fulani henchmen, they are in our land and they are killing us. My question is this: What are we going to do as we are fighting the federal government to make sure that we are free? We need to protect our first. All right. Yes. 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 Because what we are fighting for is to get the title deed that was stolen from us so that we take it and then do what we want to do with our land. But there's also self-defense. We are not saying that people should not defend themselves. You will not stay there and go into your room and lock the door and close your ears and say, Fulani are passing. There's one video and audio I listened to. I one man was like, yes, yeah, so I heard that Fulanis will come to our village. Please, everybody go inside the house and close the door and close your eyes and close your nose. <laughs> I was like, is that a man talking? When did we start having and it was an evil man? I said, What is going on to us? Mm. Happening to us. I had the Newe people. Newe people gathered together, got uh, um innocence vehicle for their security to watch the place. We always had security in our lands. This security is not new. We are Igbos. We have never been so weak that something is happening, we are not able to tackle it. We, are, we have never been that weak. Yeah, we're they're waiting, they're for waiting for magical ESN to come and do it. Exactly. We are not waiting for Ninas to come and tell us 
what to do to safeguard our neighborhood. This is neighborhood by neighborhood. And in the same way you're safeguarding your neighborhood, is the same way you will stop the politicians from opening any shop in your neighborhood. That's why we talk about people's activation. The activation of people's power. You will work together. But if there's a criminal in your midst trying to make money from your pain and sorrow, you see, you're going to have problems. Because as you gather, you will scatter. As you gather, you will scatter. He will be saying things on air that will make your enemy to come to you faster. Oh, dear. This is what we're saying. Is so, not okay. going to point, sister, is not going to point the, the venue where you are located. Like when exactly. he talked about Olum, he talked about them, and he talked about them. Um, and you say it on air. You say you it on air. You're saying it. Say that the boys are located in Olum. In Olum. And the enemy will go to Olum and kill the boys. And kill the boys. So the first step is for Ndibo to tell that madman that is on radio to keep quiet. I've never seen where people fight war by going to radio to make on to shout or oh, join a word. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> Even if you must do something to your enemy, must you be on the radio saying it? Hmm. Who does like that? Who fights like that? Because you want to be the emperor, you want to be the emir. Kafunu ke kibia bro, biya kibro biya kafe kibia bro emir. I don't know if you heard what you said. Yes. All oh, right, I I heard what you said. Thank Please. You. This we, we have been we have been in battle of security. It's not today we say self, safeguarding our region. Not today. The way we are as in the do you know if a if a if a stranger comes to my village, my people will know who they are, I where know. he's living, where he's located, what is he doing, where he's staying. And then if they're not happy with what you're doing, they tell you to leave the town. And you move, you must move. Please. And we keep telling them that this random radio ranter is the problem in all in all of these things. Oh. Even when the youth, even when they want to join the Vilante, he will he will threaten them on the radio. Exactly. And say, if you join this one, if you open this one, are you guys insane? Who listens to something like that? Eh? You're getting it's killed. Not it's not for you to come and save you. Even the Amnesty International, I think they have left the building. Well, and you guys know. are there listening to the bull crap that he's telling. He's it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. Instead of getting together to take care of yourself, you're there waiting for some person in a hotel room to give you guidance on how you're going to protect your land. And my, they look at the guidance. This is somebody that we contributed billions right. of money for eight years for a day like this. What is he telling my people? That they should stand by the forest and then the military is passing. They will put nail on the stick and throw it. And then the military will fall down and they will carry bottle with kerosene inside and throw it inside and go and collect their gun. Chineke opened her job. In 2021, how did we get this low? Hi. How did we get this low? It's mind blowing. Mm. How can you plan anything meaningful with someone that has a little <laughs> mouth? How can you do security and intelligence with someone that the mouth is licking more than his enemies? Sorry for my word, please. It's getting too much. Our people are dying. The blood is flowing. This is not how we are. This is not who Ndibo. This is not who we are. Like my sister said at the beginning, if you're a big wrestler, we call you Dimba. Dimba. That means master of all wrestlers. And if that's war, you are the one that will lead it because they have seen you in the hand in the land, how you demonstrated your skills in getting down the enemy. So that's why you become the dimwa of the land. If you are a young farmer and you are you excel in it, they will call you DG. So we we exalt skills in our land, we identify skills and name our people according to the skills that they've demonstrated in the land. It will be obvious to everyone. And we'll see the result of that use of your skill. This is not Mago Mago inside. This is not what they do with Photoshop. This is not duping. This is nothing like that. It will be obvious to everyone and we'll see the result on the table. And then we we'll give you that title. You don't need to beg us. You don't need to kill us. You don't need to do anything before we give it to you. We'll give it to you. We name people. We give them special names according to their attributes. If you're if you're beautiful as a, 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 a woman, we call you a charugo. If you're elegant, we give you another name. This is what we do. We don't need to die for this. Please, we need to restore our land. Every skill 
matters. This is what we're going to do collectively. But one man will not be looking for opportunity to become emperor in our land. Blood will, flow. Blood will flow. Blood will flow. Yes. And blood is flowing. Why? Because he has finished the strategy on how to make blood to flow. And nobody is asking him questions. He told you the next two weeks that blood will flow. Nobody is calling this madman to say, what are you saying? Even that World Evil Congress, they're not asking him, what do you mean that blood will flow? Whose blood is flowing? would they call? Their children live in America where there is exactly. so it's not their blood. Do you take all the money yeah. and give to him? So that somebody's blood will flow. Then the children, people, the people at home, when their blood finishes finish flowing, you that you are in diaspora, you will not come and take over the land. Why this wickedness? Why this level of wickedness? You will not use their picture and get asylum. You expose them to danger and not use their pictures to get asylum. This is not who we are. Heartbreaking. This is not who we are, Nibi. This is not who we are. Why we are saying this thing is that the, innocent, the blood of the innocent flowing in our land, we speak. We are telling you as daughters of Hebrew, because we know that the blood of the innocent that is flowing in our land today will not go in silence. Nope. They will not keep quiet. And they will not die in silence. The widows are crying. Their children are dying. The women are crying. Every, every cry, every tear dropping from the eye of the women that their children are dying We count against them and the, all the people bringing this carnage to the land. Whether you contributed money, whether you contributed whatever to make that emir or emperor or whatever he calls himself, supreme whatever, to become what he is. And you are not standing now to come and help us in this predicament. To bring him down the way you brought him up, you will pay for it. Is there a caller, please? No, no, no. Go ahead. So the 68 item exclusive legislative list, uh, the 68 one says the establishment and regulation of all authorities for the Federa Federation or any part thereof. So it has uh, uh, different components to promote and enforce the observance of the fundamental objectives and the directive principles contained in the in this constitution to promote and enforce the observance of the fundamental objectives and directive principles contained in this constitution they that just is in english to cut everybody's head <laughs> what we read now didn't even make sense my idea the objective of the fundamental of the one <laughs> does it even make sense I'm, I'm like what what were we even doing that we sat down with these people with this type of nonsense if you don't follow the objective me i don't know what the objective is they have finished the objective that they want to kill you and take over your land you don't know what it is and you're coming here to say that uh, yeah, one nigeria Someone that is telling you objective, you say, please, what is even the objective? Why are we even here? What is this nation for? Where are we going? What is the plan? Please let us know. What's the plan? Where are we going really in this nation? We have the phone number listed on the screen. I don't know. Are you guys seeing the numbers? Audience, please let me know. The phone number and the WhatsApp. So you can call that number as a phone number. You can call it as a WhatsApp. It's on the screen. So I hope it's coming out. I see it on my own side. Sisters, do you all see the phone number? Do you all see the phone number? Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah, yes. It's, I don't know. There. it's obvious. It's, yes, it's, it's, there. Showing, it's showing on the phone. Yeah, yeah, it's showing here. It's obvious. Yeah. People okay. will call and let's discuss. Because what we're saying is for us to discuss. We told you that going forward, we will need our brain. Do you understand? If you're eating anything that is affecting your brain, that you're not able to really think deep. Please stop it. Look for something to enhance the brain cells. Reading, reading helps. When you read a lot, get new materials. As you read it, your, your brain cells will grow and you know multiply and you begin to think critically more and more. Because everything you see has a deeper meaning. Which is why we teach our as mothers, we do this in the kitchen. We tell our children, this is this, this is this. Everything you see, do not take it at surface. Think deep. What is the root? What is the aim? Why did this person say this thing? Why did this person do this thing like this and not like this? What is the aim? Where is this person going? What's the target? Don't take anything at surface level. Even me. When I tell you something, ask me questions. And I will explain to you. 
why is it this way and not this way and as we are saying you are thinking along because we don't want citizens that will be this passive anymore we don't want gullible citizens anymore we want informed citizens citizens that when we say this is what to what to do or any government that we put in place you say this is what you ask why and then you begin to ask what i, I had somebody like one of our sisters a video that making making round and going viral and somebody said oh sister augusta's video is making it's going around i said okay what do you understand by it he said yes that is only one thing remaining I said, so what you got from it is that Sister Augusta has done everything for you, and it's one thing that Sister Augusta will do, and the freedom will come. Ha! Huh. I said, so that's all you heard from that whole video. It's sad. We are talking about activation of the people's power. All of us. Unu doom. Unu doom. Of when you have to answer, go. And of when you will not answer, unu doom. It is all of us, our collective power. You and I work on your brain as I work on my own brain. We want to be informed. Anna here, when you are looking front, before the person sees you, you have seen the person. You are thinking, where is this person going? I was talking to somebody, he said that uh, one man, he was telling me about how he has kept himself from all these women because he was influential. He said three things I do. When a woman is coming to me, I'm asking, where is she going to? What is in his mind? He said, because it's either money, power, or cause. So you, he's already assessing them. Where are you coming? This is why you're coming. Hey, so we come with Bible. So we come with everything. Where are you going? You see, when you are able to think that way, you can protect yourself. You'll be able to reason fast before the person lands. So when the person now says, you put the category where he's going, say, oh, okay, this is your category. This is where you belong. And you will know how to give them response. That's what we're saying. Don't sit down there thinking that Sister Augusta is doing something to bring your freedom. Or Brister Tony is doing something. Let me go and sleep. Or somebody that is hanging himself all over radio with all the women around him is doing something to get your freedom. That is nothing. Or UN is going to bring and declare your nation. Or when you shout for 30 days. Oh, oh daughters of truth are Ninas. Yes. <laughs> are of course, you know we are doing something, but we want you to be part of it. You want to be part of it. More importantly, is you thinking critically. Because it's needed. It's needed. This thing that we are fighting, we want our children to be able to preserve the land even when we're no more here. And they will need brain to do that because the enemy does not give up. You think when we finish and then the enemy will not go and say, leave you. No. Look at Israel. It was established 1948. But have their enemy, did they leave them alone? They are always devising means to bring down Israel. So Israel is not sleeping. And they are going with hyper technology to capture everything that you throw in the air. Some people think it's God. Of course, it's God that will give people wisdom to do things. But some people think it's when you're praying. Alaba, 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 and then uh, the missiles. Fire, <laughs> fire, 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 fire. <laughs> That's not how things are done in the 21st century. We have technology. We have wisdom. We have skills. We have talent. Your creator put them in you. But he put them in you for you to use them to serve humanity. So please do not go to church, sit down, praying, and hoping that God will come down. The God that is coming down is you. He brought you here. You are the, you are the woman. That's what he did. He created you. Put a lot of talents and gifts in you. You yeah. are the God that is coming. And you need to stand up and use the gifts and talents that that God has put in you. And work with us together. We are looking for partners. At this point, I want to give a shout out to our brother that is doing some creation. Hey, he just appeared from nowhere. Is this brother Sydney, right? Yes, brother Sydney is the man of the week. Hey, oh my god, he's blowing oh my, my god. head with his design. As in, Jesus, yes, that's what we're talking about. Instead of standing and watching us like we are museum and statues and all kinds of stuff. Our brother, as, long as, as soon as he heard the message, he's like, oh, I have talent in this. This is what I can do to promote this agenda. This is what we are talking about. Don't sit there and thinking you're part of what is... You can't even articulate what we're doing. Talk less of explaining it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because you have you no... Was yesterday. He was bombarding me with questions upon questions. What is this one? Why is this one like this? Why is it not this way? Why is it... I say, brother, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> Ask us questions. Yep. What do we yep. do it? 
Three questions, critical questions. Why is it this one, not this one? Why is it not that? Yes, if you do like this, this one will do like this. It's like playing chase now. You do like this, you check, make the other person check, you make your enemy. Do this. Somebody that is saying Buhari is dead. Okay, Buhari is dead, and so? And so? So if he dies, <laughs> what, what happens? The full and needs, the, 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 all the full and needs, did they die? Has their Rufai died? <laughs> Has the other one that called himself Muhammad or the uh, uh, Laya Laya Muhammad? Has he died? <sighs> So why are you concentrating and distracting my people with news that is not going anywhere? Dead oh, news, for God's sake. Dead Something news. ridiculous. He's yeah. dead, eh? Huh? Oh, they I'm buried dead. him, eh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go and dance for 30 days. When we dance for 30 days, then you and we come. And with protocol. <laughs> with what protocol? Hmm. It sounds very sad. All right, sisters, we must continue. Uh, so the B part says to identify, collect, preserve, or generally look after ancient and historical monuments and records and archaeological sites and remains declared by the National Assembly to be of national significance or national importance. Yeah, all right. Oh, you both. This oh, one yeah. sounds like copy and paste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they went to American websites like, oh, yeah, there's something called monuments, monuments. And archaeological site. Yeah. Hey, well, let's add it here called the yeah. Pakan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it says here to administer museums and libraries other than museums and I libraries like established by the government of the state. Learn how learn a museum and library. You can't even yeah. teach our children history. We don't yeah. even have any information of what happened to her, all kinds, especially the younger generation. And now you want to preserve museums and libraries. Do you guys read? That's why when you go to a, a funeral, you, you render your heartless sympathy to other people. Are you guys kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Please, to regulate tourist traffic. Yeah, because you open up the, the borders and your brothers and sisters will flo flood in. Oh, I forgot. The land is like fluid. How would we? They came to take space in our land. So as they are flooding, mm -hmm. I don't even have Nigerian uh, uh, ID card. But the Fulanese that just got yesterday, have they do have one. Mm. Uh, uh, you uh, know, the, the English, the only boy, eh? you know, some of them are some of these uh, people. You know, it's even in Dibu that they contracted to come and write these things for them. I All know. these children that schooled abroad. So when they come with a lot of English to say yes, uh, speaking like this, you know, our people like using English to deceive the rest. Yeah, so say it like this, it will make sense. Because why would you like co write constitution if it's for the people? Why would you use common English for the people so that they will read it and understand what you're writing? <laughs> why are you ne nebulously writing it like what your man said? <laughs> <laughs> nebulously written. <laughs> why would I even know what you're saying? Some exams, when you go, when you read the question, you say, What did the person ask? <laughs> That's what this constitution is like. It's what are you saying? Just throwing words, words here together, mix it together and push it out and say, I've written an exclusive list. Yes, to prescribe minimum standard of education at all levels. Yeah, we know the Alamajiri standard. It's what we need. That, mm. that one. Is and Buhari was able to become president without a certificate. Without a NEPA bill. You get a bill. And you have this. Ewo, Aro. All right, go ahead. Uh, 61, the formation, annulment, and dissolution of marriages other than marriages under Islamic law and customary law, including matrimonial courses relating there to. You see, they said marriages under Islamic law. Nigeria was meant to be a secular country. Why would Islamic law come under this nonsense? Customary law, yes, I understand that, but Islamic law, from where to where? Right, because when you are in a hotel room with your girlfriends, you can write anything you want. What do you mean? Hmm. Hey, 62, trade and commerce, and in particular, A, trade and commerce between Nigeria and other countries, including imports of commodities into an export of commodities from Nigeria, and trade and commerce between the states. B, establishment of a purchasing authority with power to acquire for export or sale in world markets, such as Agri such agricultural produce as may be designated by the National Assembly. National Assembly will designate the agricultural produce to. Na ma mo o iboka no. My dear, these, these are typical examples of copy and paste. Like you know, they just have to make it. You can see it's not even making sense to the writer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? 
<laughs> inspection of produce to be exported from Nigeria and the enforcement of grades and standards of quality in respect of produce so inspected. Learn how to learn exports. Learn how to export. Hey, a D, submission of a body to prescribe and enforce standards of goods and commodities offered for sale. E, control of the prices of goods and commodities designated by the National Assembly as essential goods or commodities. And uh, I can't say the last one. The Registration of, of business names. And these are the things, you know, we know of so many people that try to go home from, uh, you know, that's for uh, to go home and start some business back home. And when you get to Abuja, they will tell you if you can start it or not. We know of a brother that works for an oil company. They actually wanted to use the, um, the flare, the gas flare and use it for something. He worked for the oil company. He took them there. My dear, they went to Abuja. Nothing happened, though. They chased them back where they came from. First, they wanted billions and billions and billions to be given to them first. And then they said, oh, it cannot be in our area. It has to be in there. The man was like, you don't have any freaking you gas. Have any flare. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I, I, sorry. Andy, I, I remember I've been in uh, LMA uh, one time, you know, when I was doing one of my rotations, when I was in school. I went to LMA where they were, you know, um, Doing this fractionating, uh, they were, you know, gas and all that producing. Um, it's the refinery there. It was yeah. dead there, no. Yes. But had, they still had this gas flare. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I know that with my little, um, you know, chemistry background, then we could collect these gases, compress them, and put them in that small, small container for homes, yes. or even compress them the way they do here in America. They compress them and use pipes. The pipe, like we don't carry gas. Centrally supply, yes, centrally su supply. Centrally yeah. supply. They it's use uh, pipes. Yes. To send it to your to your home so that you yes. can use. It. So, but here in Nigeria, it was wasting. The thing they flare, they couldn't collect anything. They were burning. It's causing soot everywhere. And I remember the white shirt in you that day was turned black because soot, soot everywhere. And hmm. you're wondering why can't they see me? I, I, I spoke to one of my professors one time. I was like. Why couldn't they, you know, pack these things together when they made us? So the one was like, uh -uh. are you new in this country? And that was where it ended. That no, was it, it, ended. That it, 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 it was strategic. Remember, if they let it flare, we destroy our atmosphere. So it was yes. intentional. So they don't give them credit. It's not like they don't know what to do. They know what to do. With it, was that it was intentional. It was intentional. It was intentional. They kill all the fishes in the, all the fishes in the rivers there. And if your shirt is that color. Now find out what is happening to the lungs of yeah. our people. Yeah. You understand? So they will kill us either way. People will die of cancer. People will die of respiratory diseases, skin diseases, and all these things to kill us, to make sure we are dead. And who are the people aiding them? Our politicians. Our politicians are the ones that sold us to them. The so-called politicians that we have been telling that that constitution, that 1999 constitution, is the what has given the full and is the power to do what they're doing to our people and we are saying continue for uh, first module has been done it is time for implementation you governors listening to us we are set for transition we don't have time for this your story if you continue your non gunmen and the gun gunmen will they finish killing the unknown youths they will begin to kill the non politicians i am not prophesying you know i'm telling you that when there's the anarchy in anarchy, everybody. He heard what my sister said about the airport. He saw the people moving. If you keep quiet some more. Nina's is the only one that is giving you opportunity to be part of what is going on. To have a little opportunity to right your wrong. To be able to be part of something that tomorrow you will look at your children and say, I helped to restore my land. This is the opportunity we are giving you. But if you continue to serve your full and new masters, if you continue to serve the external and internal colonizers, I won't tell you what will happen to you because the anger of the people, you see, people are losing their children. You think they will leave you? They will not leave you, my brothers and sisters. So those of you that are carrying around, you want to do a number of election, they say our, our house is on fire. What you're doing is to do picture and be throwing at us as if you want to do, uh, what did they do that in Miss Ward and Miss whatever? Join Ninas. Embrace what Ninas is doing so that we bring down this evil nation that is killing our people. That's what we need to do now. Hmm. 
All right, number six is the traffic on federal truck trunk roads. Water from such source, source, sources, water from such sources as may be declared by the National Assembly to be source, sources affecting more than one state. Water from such sources as may be declared by the National Assembly to be the sources affecting more than one state. Weights and measures. Amount, are they measuring the amount of money they are hiding in Texas Bank? I don't know what that one stands for. But again, when they make it two, two or three words like this, it means anything can go under it. And then 66 says wireless broadcasting and television other than the broadcasting and television provided by the government of the state. Allocation of wavelengths for wireless broadcasting and television transmission. This is why they can turn off your, um, I think somebody sent that, I don't know if it's true though, somebody sent that the Twitter account, whatever, they like, they stopped Twitter from working in Nigeria because Buhari tweeted about how he's going to kill the Igbos and they, of course, removed it from their handle. So now they, they have gone berserk and want to shut down the Twitter account. I said, wow. Wouldn't you go into that, Megan? Already, I wonder. They've already shut it down. And there, there's um, Kedafa, the Malami. What's that his title again? You know, Malami, the Minister of Communication. No, no, not communicate. No, in, yeah, I would like, like Mohammed. Uh, Malami is a uh, <laughs> like uh, Supreme Court something something. They yeah, are just saying what you need to say. We are not interested in their titles. I think Chief Justice, whatever, whatever. Anyway, whatever he's called. <laughs> he's saying that. Those that flaunt the Twitter ban should be prosecuted. Hmm. What? Just now. That those that flaunt the Twitter ban. Because when they banned Twitter, people now moved into what is called PVN. And they continued, you know, tweeting. Even Twitter uh, registration has gone up by 18% as at this morning. Mm -hmm. So he now came up and said, those that, that are flaunting the Twitter ban will be prosecuted and jailed. And remember, uh, the other guy, Patami, the, the terrorist in charge or whatever, is the one in charge of the name, the, the, the NIN number, like the yes. mm -hmm. He's the one in charge of the name. Yes. And that name is being used to get non indigenous peoples to come in as citizens so they could vote. That's what the name is used for. So people are saying, do not register, give your information to this thing because they can use it to trace you or something, something, something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but, and, and that is why we are telling our people that 2023 election is not the way to go. Do not go to your enemy's ground to go and start fighting him because he has already put all the enemy, all the things he needs to destroy you. Yep. They are, the Fulanis work 20 years ahead of time. This name that they brought, you people have already registered. But you don't know that they've used it to bring on the people that they needed to bring in. So there's nothing you're voting that you ever win them. They have all the me mechanisms of, of government. They're in charge of it. They have taken And even if they put your brother there, they will use him as a tool, a willing tool. Exactly. So please, do not go that route. But this Nina's route is the way to go. Nibu, adopt the proclamation like the Yorubans did. The Yorubans, we did this thing together. What you're seeing Yorubans doing is what we did together. The Yorubans went ahead and adopted it officially that this is the way to go. For you to say this is where Igbos are standing. Because what we are saying Igbos is that according to the UN declaration, the 2007, you have to come as an indigenous person on your ancestral land. Igbos, you cannot claim Biafra because you're not the owner of Biafra. <laughs> Many people are inside Biafra, but everybody in Lower Niger territory is not inside Biafra. So it's not a strategy that will work for you at this time. But we're not saying that at the end of it all, when we have finished signing our charter of relationship, that if you use that name, if you want to use that name, you can bring it up. And collectively, all the parts, we agree that they want to go with that name, even as they have their own sovereignty. So where we are now is that you're going to come as an Igbo person, the Igbos. So on your land, on your land, on your ancestral land, the Jaws on the ancestral land. So with all these killings, 
what you need to do for those that are listening because actually we are called to speak to kings to leaders there are some people that cannot understand what we are saying sorry if you don't understand don't worry when we finish you understand later the people that we are talking to know what we are telling them we are saying adopt the proclamation that was done on 16 december 2020 as Boku. when you adopt it then your partners, their neighbors, we adopt their own. Then we work collectively. Then, see our salvation, we are looking at it already. It's already looking at us. Then with that, we can go into transition. We can do our collective uh, uh, self-defense. We mm -hmm. can pass certain laws. The states will pass laws. The Fulanis have been defeated. That's what I'm telling you. The Fulanis have been technically, we have given Fulanis technical knockout. You know what they call technical knockout? This thing you see them reacting is because of the technical knockout, not from your shouting, but because of the type of strategy that Nina's implemented. That's why they cannot do anything in Yoruba land. Please listen to us. Listen to us. We are begging you, listen to us. Those that make decisions for Ndigo, those that make decisions for the states of Igbo land, listen to us. We are begging you for the sake of our children that are dying. Stop moving around following Fulanese or following the other group of terrorists, they will not help you. Those people, those terrorists in Igbo land, because some people have not turned to terrorists, they have not met with anybody at the international scene. They are not discussing with anybody. They have not done anything. All they have done is make noise, collect your money, and then bring your enemy to your land for you to be killed. Please do not listen to them. She said we, Governor Oko Okowa, right? Okowa, Okowa, yes, of Delta State. Yes. So he he now you know mentioned that the constitution is a problem, and this is where we are asking everybody to join what what just join what is being done, my people. Yes. The salvation is here. Why are we why are we swelling and crying and dying when the the roadway is clear, like like the pathway is there? Just just get in, get in, so we can get home faster. All right, any other matter with respect to which the National Assembly has power to make laws in accordance with the provision of this constitution? Any other matter? My dear, they left the thing open. Oh. So if they want to bring their girlfriends in here, they can add it there because it could be any other matter. If they want to buy 10 billion uh, condos in London for their girlfriends, hey, it's any other matter. If, if they want to send their children, they're supposed to go to a four-year college and pay them pay their six years uh, school fees because they're afraid they may you know not pass the classes though so they won't go ahead and pay for extra two years for them to graduate is any other matter and then 68 said any other matter or any matter incidental or supplementary to any matter mentioned elsewhere in this list wow my dear cow open bank it's like somebody giving you a check open check how many Any zeros? Other <laughs> Any other matter you want to put inside, put it inside. Put How it. many zeros do you want to add? Eh? <laughs> Any other matter. Mm. Any other matter. Yeah. If you want to bring cows, if you want to bring cows to take over my land, put it inside. Anything <laughs> you want to put. If you want to take my waterways, want to take my land, anything you feel like doing to my people, please do it. Uh, they can. We approve it ahead of time. We are allowing you to do it anytime. <laughs> and my people, this is just the 68 items on the exclusive list. That is for ex exclusively for the federal government. Now, there is another 30 that is concurrent. That What I mean by concurrent is state, state and federal owns that 30. But the federal supersedes the states. So invariably, the states owns the, no, the federal owns the entire thing. So it is actually 98 items on the list, not, not 68. We are just, you know, trying to separate it. Mm -hmm. But the entire thing is 98. So yes. 98 of chokehold, that is what it is. 98 mm -hmm. items of chokehold. Holding you not to mm -hmm. move, not to progress, not to do anything with your life. Your children, your great-grandchildren, your forefathers, whatever, they are holding you by the truth. Entire 98 items. So if you think that going to vote for them to continue this charade is what you want to do, then you have something else in your brain. You have something, you have what a miracle in your brain because you cannot allow this to continue. 98 items exclusively for the federal government. 
That's too we much. can't allow it to, to continue and we will stop them. That's what we're telling you. Yes, ma'am. We are putting the machinery in place. It's coming like a submarine to stop you. You will be stopped. That's what we're saying. You will be stopped. For the past 50 years, we are doing whatever you feel like doing. Right now, we're saying no way. No more. Our children will stop you. You will try to kill our children. There are some that you cannot kill. You don't know where they are located. All our children are not in the land. There are some you cannot get to where they are. And they will stop you. The things being put in place will stop you. There's something that is bigger than our children. Machinery that is bigger than us that we have contacted. Because this battle, we say we are not alone. Daughters of truth, we are just voice. We are not the one fighting. We are just voice. The main people that are fighting, they know where they're located. But we are telling those that are running around in our land to give way so that submarine will land. Hmm. Say Is that again, cool? my dear. Submarine in this. Carla, we have a uh, call on the line. Sister, please go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for thank you, Michael, my sisters. So, um, so I just want to contribute uh, to the topic. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I thank you guys for always uh, dedicating yourself to to the actualization of uh, our freedom. Um, to start with uh, the 68 uh, item or whatever Nigeria colonization government uh, is uh, has on their list, we all know it's, uh, it's fraudulent. And that's one of the reasons why the constitution must come down. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't know what, whether you guys uh, saw one of our dear brothers that, uh, you know, we were all thinking that he he tapped into the right uh, right thing that is uh, you know concerning our people but uh, he's calling for occupy number 10 uh, downing whatever in london so but I, i'm calling on um, you know all the um uh agitating group leaders to come and join so but uh, my question to him is you occupy and then what you occupy at number 10 down down in in london where um uh, for for um uh, what do you call it uh, um uh, united kingdom or uh, england for them to do what they know what you what they know what is going on they are behind it so occupy it and cnn coming or not coming what would that do what plan do you have if they ask you now what next what do you do so i i just don't understand the, the 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 main thing or the main uh people that is working towards the the process the right process is already on ground why going about forming and uh, forming all that stuff just so you're leading or uh, that's the problem we we have it everybody wants to lead every but what is your plan what is your strategy are you even if you have you think you have a plan is it the right one so uh i'm just so so taken aback when i see certain things happening even with the, some people that you think they will know you know what is going on and how to go about it so i'm not sure whether you, you know you guys understand what i don't want to call them but if i have to call them you know, I don't have no, we don't need we don't need anybody's <laughs> name, my dear. We we know <laughs> okay. we know who the so, the so random my, people are. My advice to our people that are listening is to please stick with Ninas. Ninas has the right process, and the right process with due time is going to pay up. They all you know they have it. They have, the plan is right there. The process is already achieved so why going uh you know out to go do something else that if if somebody will ask you okay here here your freedom what else are you gonna do or how do i then what you occupy and then what so i just wanna you know throw that in there thank um, you asking our people you don't have to die we don't have to die we are all here enjoying our freedom uh, freedom of speech um, and uh, every everything else 
everything else in between. If anybody outside the uh, uh, Fula Nigeria will ask you to go die, you don't have to die. So I think we love each and every one of you, especially those in back home, to tell you that you don't have to die. But if you choose to listen to people that are outside the country telling you to go die so that they they could come back and uh, be be you know um almighty um uh what do i call it supreme whatever go ahead but uh, we said we are telling you that you don't have to die uh so thank you my sisters thank and you god sister. bless you eh? thank you sister one of uh, i was reading something on facebook and one of the writers uh, writers uh noted that uh, for those that are going to die very how did she say for those that are going to die soon because of their stupidity i just want to say rest in peace <laughs> so she's already wishing them r.i.p before they die my dear please let's not be that stupid it's not that serious don't don't do that to yourself it's not worth it it's not worth it especially when i'm saying especially when you have an alternative why exactly. do you have to go that route you want to die for nothing right <laughs> and you know what i think is happening to ndibo you know like the fulanese you know, have Emirates, you know, they've been following, like they are used to this feudalism where you have an Emir or whatever king that is walking them. Then they, even the Yorubas have their kingdoms and all these, some of these people. So they're already used to having strategies and conspiracies and how to establish kingdoms. But indeed, for the first time, you know, they're used to our clan, our community. So when you are calling them, come, let's do this thing together so that we we'll have a, a faster and bigger approach. They are not listening. Everybody wants to open small, small shop. Only mepe shop unko one le ogiri. Only mepe here one le lokwa. You just want to open here and and for non Igbo speakers. So I said, our uh, people. I'm not here. Yes, small, small shop here and there. This one wants to go to the, the street. I said they are killing us. This one wants to open radio. They are shouting, you know, they are killing us. Somebody is not. Nobody saying, okay, wider picture. Where are we going? What is the end? This thing you're doing, what are you, where will it lead to? It's just like somebody wants to go on a journey. We say we need a vehicle. First of all, you say, okay, where is the destination we are going? Then what is the road? How are we going? Because we need to pass a road where we don't have enemies. So that when we are going, we have least uh, 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 resistance and least uh, danger. So that our people will not die. So what is the faster one? Sometimes the faster road will not be safe our people will die. So if you want a safe road, you want to also say this road so that uh, it can get to where we're going on time without people dying. So these are all targets and objectives that you put on place. Then you see the type of vehicle. This vehicle I'm carrying will really accommodate everyone. Which driver will drive it? These are all they talk about when we talk of critical thinking. You must put these things on the table and begin to put them together. Is there a caller, please? Yes, call her your name and where you're calling from. Uh, yeah, I'm in London. Uh, let's call it. Uh, I'm curious about this exclusive list. So, what they mean really is if somebody brings a generating plant to maybe on nature, maybe they find a way to use gas to generate maybe a turbine or two, uh, like they do in the Escobar's gas plant, and you just bring electricity to the whole of nature. What they're saying is you can't bring it to nature, you must put it in the national grid and then. The federal minister will allocate it or what? Yes, 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 yeah. Right, that's why you're not, that's like you're that. not moving forward. That's why everything you know is like we're uh -huh. going back into the uh, should I say, 15th yes. century, even mm -hmm. <laughs> we are rolling backwards. And my brother, this exclusive list is not new, we are only bringing it to our people to say. So far, you accept that 1999 constitution. This is what you are agreeing to. Yep. So far, you conduct election and swear to uphold that 1999 constitution. This is what you are agreeing to. You understand? So you can never move with your people. Even when you want to give your people electricity, you know the wisdom, you know the technology, you know who to connect. They will not allow you to do it. So your people will be in darkness. Even when you want to create job for your people, they will not allow you. It has been tied. And the only thing we can do is to bring down that constitution. And it has been done. It has been done. It was done 16th December 2020. All we need to do is to adopt it. 
to adopt the proclamation and work with it because there are other things attached to the proclamation like the transitional government we are talking about like the regional referendums that we're talking about so much is inside it and it will free everyone it will free all of us thank you thank you brother like oh, I just, thank you. okay another person is calling no go ahead like this, uh, uh, Choma was talking about somebody that is going to, you see, they're all looking for titles and recognition so that they'll say, it's me that did it. It's me that did it. Me, 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 me. I will tell our people, please, can you drop this me, 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 me for once? We are communal people. And when you work as a team, things are better because I don't know it all. Those person does not know it all. Like we said at the beginning, you are all gifted. You have talents and gifts. Bring it together. But your talent that you're bringing, it has to work with the strategy on ground. You will not say, okay, we want to farm yam. And you will go and bring a uh, um, cocoa yam. I say you want to put it inside the yam. You see, it will not work. Whatever you're bringing has to be compatible. Like somebody makes a car. You made made Mercedes. You can bring Volkswagen engine and put it inside Mercedes. My dad will be he will be driving backwards. Why <laughs> 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 you, when you say then you don't be going him backward? And eventually maybe the car will lift up, the head will lift up, and then the, the tail will be down. You're not going anywhere. Please. Uh, and that is what we are saying, sisters. You know, uh the 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 present uh national assembly, they are gathering together, trying to amend the, the fraudulent constitution. And we have told them that you cannot amend a fraud. You Hello? cannot. It's like when you use tissue paper, you use it to clean your bomb bomb. You now put it in the uh, uh, bathroom. Are you not decided to go back and pick it and say you want to clean it? <laughs> you know, it, I mean, I, I have to paint that picture. I'm sorry for if you yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, to paint that picture so that you know how dirty that tissue paper is. So you don't need it. And we have told you that they have been on this thing in 2014. They did a national conference. Duh. Can anybody tell us how far with the national comfort? Now they are scampering up and down trying to say, okay, they are going to amend, amend, amend. Can they amend 98 exclusive lists? Can they amend all 98? Can they take out Sharia from the northern region? When we have said that Nigeria is a secular state, it's a secular country. Can they take out Sharia from the northern region? Because they will not do that. So if you're not going to take out Sharia from the northern region, then what are you amending? What are you amending? My, they're they're because, only worried about the account number. That's all. The exactly. Set up to nowhere. So how do you think that 2021, these people were meant something seriously? When one of those uh, Tinubu's wife that was supposed to amend the constitution did not allow the constituent members to come in. Instead, she called them thirds. So how are they going to amend what will benefit you? <laughs> Ah, these people, man. We never. If only they know that. people can wake up. If only and they, they know can that. Wake up. Mm -hmm, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, please. No, I would say, I said, if only they can wake up, you know. When we talk about international imperative, these people are already aware of what's going on. They're only sitting there thinking, how come your people don't know what is going on? Yes. Especially those of you in diaspora. Can you please use your Wi Fi and your internet services and your day off and please begin to key into the issue so that when you come out there congressman the gate joy i'm because they are waiting for us to react yep we are not we let we left it for a few people to be doing and say have a way about like i will football game and uh, continue to do it are you guys kidding me aren't you guys tired of being at work and cussing i, I met one lady one time i phone she was at work she was cussing in prayer against her managers and everything and what they are doing to her I came back the next day, the same woman was on the phone cussing. I had to call her. Aren't you guys of staying at work and cussing and all this thing when we can actually go in our land and fix it the way we want it to be? Eh, please, key in on one name. Key in. Time is of essence. Go ahead, sister. Time is of essence. And those that are trying to amend fraud, like we said, you do not amend fraud. If you have a $100 bill that is fake, if you continue to use it, you'll be arrested. You can't even use it because once you bring it and they test it the way they test here, it's fraud. They will call police for you. You might even die. 
Because you know when police come now, when they do up and do down, before you know, they say they make mistake. <laughs> I made mistake. Somebody shot. Then we me. use gun and call it days. Yes, so, I made mistake. Somebody shot something and something, yeah. something, and somebody died. Yeah. And they say it was mistake. Yes. They they how did this start? <laughs> how did this start? It's fake currency that you brought. That's how they even came in the first instance. Yep. So if we know that this is not it, stop insulting our intelligence. Yeah. We told you first the people did not make that constitution. Yep. Second, it is fraudulent because you connived and um, do cut and paste, cut and paste, and then put our signature on it. That makes you a criminal. If you're still holding that 1999 constitution, you call yourself a politician, you call yourself a governor, and you're still using it to lead my people, you are a criminal because you're an accomplice. The Fulanese did it, but you upholding it, you are an accomplice. You're, yeah, you're a criminal. Yes, yes. You're listening to me. You governor, you governor, you senator. All of you upholding that 1999 constitution. I say you're a criminal. They are not. No, uh, I, Sister Kui, I can't, I bet you already told you that he's not. He's not. He just shows up there to collect his salary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't he's know what that is. He's number one or labor. He's number one or no. <laughs> he, he, said, he said he's not part of the government. He's a spectator. <laughs> Yeah. Here, why you were sent to go and represent the people? The people. You say you're not part what of the what government. What, are you, what are you doing? So what are you doing there, my brother? Yeah. Come back home because it's obvious not you're part of the government. We can see it because we see how Abba is. How Abba is? You saw that you are not. You don't even know what is going. You're just there collecting money and sleeping. Stop representing us. Come back. Let's fix what we need to fix. Please go ahead. To tell ourselves the truth. And at times that truth can be very bitter. I'm sure we were, I'm sure we all saw when Nam Dekano said he had uh, created the Eastern Security Network. I'm sure you saw when that Eastern Security Network began to move around because it was making daily broadcasts and telling them what to do. I'm sure you saw the videos where they said they were killing soldiers and killing policemen, and he was making daily brokers, urging them to go and kill more. Destroy them. Don't let them escape. He even imposed a curfew in Anambra and other places. He said, look, just go shut down anybody you see, kill them. The whole world was listening. Hmm. Okay. They, they, killed, they actually killed a whole number of, you know, they made videos, and it's all being made up. They made videos at the time. At the time, the global, the world powers were already dealing with our, our situation. Dealing with is anybody being killed in Yoruba land now for insisting that they are fed up with Nigeria? No, nobody's even being detained. But you you decide to go your own way in 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 going to say okay, we will charge you up just because he wants to pretend he is the one that. Uh, Defeated Nigeria <laughs> in a Biafra. In, in his dreams. Defined. And it is that scam, the desperation to make money from the blood of dying people that led to that show, that show, that window show of we are doing so much at home. I'm sure we saw many videos and pictures of the pretext. That they were dealing, that he was dealing with uh, the government of the United States and several other institutions across the world. We are in May, we are in May of 2021. I can report to us now that no, no single official of the United States government have ever been in any meeting with uh, Nam Dekano and his IPOB and the Biafra promotion. Photoshop, brother, Photoshop. No Congress, not in the executive branch, not at the UN, not at the EU. We were there. Everything you hear, everything you saw is Photoshop. In fact, the people that are dealing with us in Washington, and I'm sure you, when you go to the, to the website we gave you, you are going to see the videos of what we did in Washington that became these policies you are seeing now. The people dealing with us, the, the, the officials dealing with us in Washington, actually said to me in January of 2019 that they had verified we had nothing to do with that scam. Before they opened up their national security architecture for the discussions that had led to the decisions. You saw when they categorized Nigeria as 
state sponsor of terror, putting Nigeria as country of particular concern along with Iran for the involvement of people in government in the terror that was uh, you know, spreading all over the place. So I'm informing you that it is because they were making a show of, of killing policemen and soldiers. Then they say it's unknown gunmen. Then the people who have been looking for how to kill our people also join them in becoming unknown gunmen. Mm -hmm. Free for all. Free for all fights. We saw all of what happened before then. In 2017, the fight on that, there was the same thing. They put up video, the Afro Security Service. You saw them in uniform, holding parade. And then he was telling our people that he was going to go to Abuja and behead Buhari and bring home to them. And they were clapping. And then the operation was launched to stop them because these people were already wearing uniform and making, well, how can you be making a show exposing more than 70 million people to danger because you want to make money and make fame? He's not involved in what we're doing. Everything he's doing is causing setback for the, we will have finished with this whole liberation project. If not for the criminality of people who come to say you want to restore Biafra, that includes the Joland, Ogoniland, Ibibio land, you've not talked to them, Urobo land, you sit in London say you want to restore Biafra. What does that mean? I know what it means, brother Tony. If you're wearing rapper, eh? Anywhere you see rapper, that's what it means. You begin to count them as Biafra. My brother is overrated. So double rapper. Double rapper. My dear. We even took remember Sister Augusta, we took over Houston. We took over Houston and Richmond. He became the Afro. Because we thought that rapper one Saturday and came out here. Okay. So <laughs> my dear, this caricature, what I made in here is so embarrassing. It is. Hey, you wonder our people that are supposed to be educated in diaspora. Is it voodoo or too much clock in and clock out that kind of degenerated our brain that we actually believe that one random elite is psych psychopath somewhere who actually do this? I mean, the thing is mind boggling. And as we are telling you, the professor of animal husbandry is following him around. <laughs> it's multifactorial, I'm telling you. It, it's many. Some are abusing some substances because I don't think it's annual man. I, I don't believe that somebody will actually open eyes and continue to follow this type of setup it does not make sense so voodoo might be part of it abuse of substances might be part of it then deception which is huge people that have enjoyed lies for a long time so when they now see yes. lies, yes yes they are yes. not able to do anything because for the longest time you have told yourself lies and you have lied to yourself so you, are, you have got accustomed with lies. So you are really used to lies. So you, if you don't work with lies, you will not be normal. So you just have to lie, you know, and you have to do things in a very dubious way. You know, you do in a very dubious way before anything can work for you. Yes. And we are paying for it now. Mm -hmm. We are paying for it. And that's what we're calling our people. Please turn around. Turn around from your dubious ways. Whatever talents and gifts you have, know that you are given that thing we are given was given to you to you to serve humanity. Do not dupe our people with it because that's what happened to Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot wanted to dupe Jesus Christ and he ended up duping himself and committing suicide. He has not changed. Stop. All right. So, since if we go ahead, I was about to play the next video. You can play. Is it ready? You can play. Yes. And from that beginning of the joint venture between the Fulani and their British sponsors, these things were carefully considered and uh, built into our foundation. And uh, we're going to take you to, through a few of them. The document is uh, one uh, is titled The Amalgamation of Nigeria, a documentary record uh, being a reprint of the a report by Sir Eddie Lugard. Uh, on the amalgamation of northern and southern Nigeria administration 1912 to 1919. The final phase of the amalgamation process uh, took place uh, between 1912 and 1914 after the southern territories had been merged together in 1906. The different treaties, Oil Rivers uh, Colony, Lagos Colony, 
and all in everything in between. There was the security treaty, there was all kinds of uh, treaty with government, but they messed all those things in 1906 to become the protectorate and the colonial protectorate of southern Nigeria. And then in the north, they also merged everything they had to call it uh, the protectorate of northern Nigeria. Now, the, the question of making one country, one political union, out of all of those, uh, you know, out of these two, uh, was what happened in 92. Now merge that uh, southern protectorate to the northern protectorate. Uh, because uh, the, the, the administrative cost of, the, of uh, managing the north was something uh, the northern uh, the finances they were able to raise there could not uh, cope with. And so, in, in, in putting that Nigeria together, the British knew exactly where the assets were. And that was why they described southern Nigeria as a southern lady of means being put in marriage uh, to the poor but well-behaved uh, northern Sweden. That, that well-behaved was simply a question of uh, being, a, you know, being willing to uh, adopt the overlord ship, to accept the British uh, who were also feudalists. Both of them were feudalists, but the British had more guns and could actually conquer them. But because the British also wanted to use them to hold the entire territory together, the joint venture between them was then one in which the British had to put them in charge. What were the things that had to be done to put these people who were obviously backward from uh, the, the, the peoples of the South and uh, most of Middle Earth, whom the British, throughout this document, described as the natives? Let us note the words, because we're going to hear the word native, native. Uh, throughout uh, what I'm, I'll be reading out. For just $67, you can make as many videos as you want. And you yes, they have come on. Uh, you know, they must sell now. They will do adverts. Make some settings. And video done. It'll oh. take you just a few minutes. So let's hear from the doodly creator. Brad. They are coming, you know, Sister Mona. Oh, my God. Here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They must sell. They sell our land, they sell our resources, they sell everything, everything. Even when we want to talk about freedom, they will come, they want to sell. <laughs> are you guys kidding me? All right, who ended at that? Um, were you, because I had to leave for a second. Is it okay to stop you or should I play something? Yes, it's okay, my dear. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I am so sorry, viewers. I had to <laughs> excuse myself. <laughs> What yeah. we're saying is so simple and straightforward. There's no need for war. And we keep saying it. And there's no need for people to die. People that have been following us and they will still come and watch this video and follow. Please, we don't want you to die. There's no need for you to die. We have investigated this strategy. We've studied it. We did not just grab it. When we came out of the Berima people, because we were, we saw our people in IPOB. We followed them. We went to go and help. We didn't go there to follow. We went to work. So when we are working, as we are working, they are scattering. They are working, we are scattering. We are gathering, they are scattering. We say, what is going on? Okay, what is going on that when we are putting things together, we are scattering it. We began to ask questions. They couldn't give us answers. We said, you know what? You are criminals. You are thieves. We are going to leave you. So we left them. And we went to look for people that are doing things for our people. And we found Nina, we found LSC. We studied it. We did not just swallow it. We studied it. Read and it. Ask questions. Many and ask questions. questions. So many questions. We brought Tony. We will ask questions, ask, he will explain this. Sometimes when we ask, he say, You have not read the other documents. That's why you're asking this question. He will ask you to go back and read it. That's <laughs> what he said. Go and read that document. Ha! He said, Brother Tony, tell us shop stuff. I said, I will not talk to you. If you have not read it, I don't have discussion with you. We said, Okay, Brother Tony, you so bad, you know. Hey, let's go and read. We read. We imagine we watched uh, 2007 uh, on Drip. We say, yes. Ah, this is thing. They are together. Hey, we were proud. We are like, for the first time, our people are doing something that you use brain to do. And now, white people are calling us to discuss on the table and talk. We say, this is the type of thing we like. Because this beggy beggy, it does not help us. Oh, come and help us. They are killing us. They are killing us. Meaning what? We want to be on the table and say, this is what we can offer. Come, let's form partners, for partnership, and then we move. And that's what is happening. For the first time, black man is having a voice. 
For the first time, black men and women are beginning to become to be recognized officially. So people want to be recognized individually. We are not interested in individual recognition. Mm -hmm. It's collective recognition. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to free, get free alone as an individual and then leave your job behind. We're not going to leave your bus behind. We're not going to leave middle belt behind because we are all in the prison called Nigeria. Yep. We are inside our prison, all of us. So we are working together to free ourselves from the prison. And then when we have our nations, we're going to have bilateral relationship because we are aware that some of our children married Yoruba people. We are aware that some of Yoruba people married our children. We are aware that some middle belt married us. So we know we have all those connections. So we are not undermining it. Mm -mm. So the relationship will continue. That mm -hmm. our territory will be protected. protected. Amen. It's as Amen. simple as that. We will have businesses together. Some of us will have companies in, in Benue, uh, 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 land of nation or whatever and export it to all Africa. We are going to live in Lagos. We are still going to live in Lagos. But then yes. we are living as people living in the land of Yorubas. Yes. They will give us the terms that we used to, just like we live in America. Yes. And we will obey their laws. Yes. We will do what they say we should do. And they will not marginalize us because we have embassy in mm -hmm. Yoruba land. Mm -hmm. We have embassy. Our ambassadors, we will have ambassadors posted mm -hmm. in Yoruba nation. Mm -hmm. And if anything is happening, they will talk to the embassy and the, uh, the ambassador will talk to the people. We will have a better relationship. People, for the first time, we will be treated as human beings. For the first time, we will be treated as human beings, people. Even in Lower Niger Territory, no nation is small. We are up to six to 12 nationalities in that area. And we will be equal partners. We are yes. going to be equal. If you see that your neighbor, maybe the Igbos, that they know how to teach mathematics, you can say, please, Igbo nation, can you give us 10 teachers? We will pay them. Then mm -hmm. we are sold to you. Yes. We will not touch your resources. You will have with your resources, you will control it the way you want to control it. Mm -hmm. And the way we will have our own too. How is this thing difficult to understand? And remember we told you that if this thing works in Nigeria, which it will, other nations in Africa, we will we, we emulate it. And all the war you're seeing in Africa, we end. The world wants it. That's why the nations are standing with us. Thank you. Wow, sister. You couldn't have said that any better. That is why the nations are standing. We are, they are waiting for us to do the right thing, people. It's a no-brainer. It's not completed. We come out here every Saturday. Some people, please do not get confused because it's heartbreaking to be a teacher. And uh, when, I remember when my sister <laughs> when my sister was in a teacher's training school, <laughs> she finished teaching and the girl, she asked a question. She said, teacher, <laughs> <laughs> Please, please, you don't want everything. <laughs> I said, Mona, is that what you told me about someone that came for exam and he was like, what are we writing? <laughs> no, that was my father. When my father was in okay. school, my dad is 94, he said when he was in school, yes. some guy came and he said, in our language, like, oh, now, what the hell are you guys doing here? When he was supposed to be the final exam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He was so lost through the semester. He didn't know the day they were taking final exam. Please, we don't want that to be your portion. No. That will spend in our, our very, oh my God, our time is so precious, our precious time, you know, to come out here on Saturday and then. When it's time for the final, you're asking us, what are you doing here? Or better yet, you say everything that we talked about went through your head. Please, we don't want it to go through your head. Um, you know, contact us privately if you want more information. You know, we have the Nina's website, www.ninasffn.org. We also have the other website, www.freedomfromnigeria.com. It's out there. We'll post it on our Facebook page just in case if you didn't quite get it so you can have the link, the information. And then, of course, you have our phone number, the plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two. You know, reach out, reach out. Brother Sydney did it. Brother Sydney asked questions. Brother Sydney is the biggest developer of campaign tools now. This is what we want. We need people to come on board. You know, if we people are saying, "Oh, how come what is happening in Ebola land is not happening? It's happening in Europe, but it's not happening in Ebola land because some random person is causing confusion." As soon as they are done and we're able to align with our alliance territory, join with them, 
then we can begin to do the things that our brothers and sisters are doing so we can get home faster. We are the one delaying all of this. All this, I'm a mayhem, I'm a mayhem. You're the one delaying all of this so that we can. And, and in, in, sorry, in the delay, they are getting killed, but they are not delaying the project. No. As we speak, chatter of relationship is going on. People are writing it and putting these things together. So you are delaying yourself and killing yourself. Work is going on. And we don't want our followers, followers of Daughters of Truth. Anybody has attended lecture, even if it's 30 minutes lecture of Daughters of Truth, we don't want you to die. Is that important? Mm -hmm. We are here that you might not die. That's why we're here. So that you hear truth. And truth you hear and understand We set you free. We are here that you may not die. Do not die. Thank you. Thank you. Sisters, final words so we can call it a day. We've done well. Thank you, sisters. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you all for listening. And um, as we said, we are so close to our destination. We want everybody to just keep faith and continue to do what you need. I mean, the, the help that we are getting right now are those that in truth and in spirit really wants this freedom to go through. So please, if you know any kind of activity, if you know any kind of skill that you have to help propagate the, the message, contact us. Sister Mina has told you all. Our number is there, our website. Or you can contact us anywhere, and we will give you more information on what to do. We need these messages to go far and wide. We need it to go across everybody. We need everybody to understand that it's collective effort that will see us through, not individualistic or, or Nami Sabi Pass method. So we are going with the Nina's method, and we are so, so, so close. For that man that said that uh, Augusta only has one more, one more step to go now, man. <laughs> <laughs> we all, we all have one more step to go. All of, all us. of us, all of us, not me or me. I don't have that power to give you one more step. So it's all of us. It's a Nina's project, the Alliance Territory. I, we've explained that in details, who the Alliance Territories are. So please, join, join, join. Yeah, we don't ask you to contribute monthly allowance like uh, all those experiments. So bring your, your, your A game forward. Yeah, so well, we need money, though. We need money, though. It we doesn't need money, though. We, need have, money, though. Bring. Yeah. we need money, please. Yes. But bring your A game to what we are doing. And as mm -hmm. soon as we did that, the better for us. We are homebound. Thank you all. and see you all next week. Thank, Thank you. you. Go ahead, so, sister. Okay, thank you, my final word. Thank you, our people. Thank you for being with us again. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. If you have groups and you want your group to be maybe like your church, your uh, village groups, and you want them to be addressed and explain, so we can explain this thing, you can reach us. Either we come as one person or we come as a group or Bratoni, we come, but we will send somebody to you. Somebody will address you and explain to you. Please. We are doing this together. Aini ne madini ne. We are madudu, madudu, madudu. Yes, we are all of us. We will do it together. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to show one of the work of our brother Sydney. Um, you know, this guy he's been throwing these things out. So for those of you that are visual, maybe this would be of some help, right? Because maybe talk, talk, talk. You're not getting it. So he made an example of the employers versus the employees, and he showed you what the owners of the land is making and then this is what the caretakers are taking and underneath he says reject the 1999 constitution that enforces and sustain this master slave existence so this is a guy that truly understand what we are, what, what, what we'll be saying all along and he just made it to the same way because he was sincere because he wanted to learn look at the masterpiece that he's producing so join us in any capacity that you can use your talent your gift your presence to help us to get to our destination. There's nothing lamentation will do for us because right now I think our page chapter, I think I don't know chapter 1 billion <laughs> of lamentation. And you don't want it to reach chapter 3 billion. Yes, I guess it's alcohol lamentation. Yeah, it's full. Yeah, yeah it's full, it's heavy. <laughs> Even the, the cloud can't contain it anymore. The cloud rejected all of them. <laughs> so you can lament all you want. What we are looking now is for people that are bringing solution to the table. Mm -hmm. I may not have money, but I have I have a, a device that I can use to design stuff. Yeah. I may not have money, but I'm able to gather 10 people and I can call my sisters to come and educate them. I may not have money, but I can go to my church. Instead of fasting and prayer, I can say, Pastor, please, 
Can you call these sisters and brothers to tell us what is going on for our true freedom? So there's mm -hmm. no role that you can play. There is something that you can do. Whatever it is that you can do, begin to do it. And while you're doing it, don't let anyone threaten you from a random place and tell you not to join your your uh, security force. Please. He won't save you because his so-called uh, security apparatus is nowhere to be found. They are killing, they are running into bedrooms. This mother that lost two sons, run into their houses, so they weren't doing anything, you know. They picked them up and killed them. And as we're telling you now, there are 35 uh, dead bodies somewhere at the FMC or where. Nobody has claimed it because it's probably some children that they picked up and the parents are still looking for them. And we're telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. Use your talent, your presence, your, your finances, whatever that you can use to get us where we're going so that we're not singing lamentation. Nobody's listening. I don't want to listen anymore. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys next week. And please stay safe. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and for our viewers, we cannot thank you enough. You guys are the rock of what we're doing. And thank you for sharing. We have like 55 shares today. So good job. That's good. Before it used to be four or five. So it means that some people are sharing like they're supposed to. So thank you until next week. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.